Hello, and welcome to Madness Project Nexus. After playing through the story campaign, I had a lot of fun with it, and I've been really wanting to try out the arena mode. So, without further ado, I'm just gonna go straight into it. Oh, it's only solo play still. Enter name. Uh, well, this has to be a Madness Combat name, so... Eh, whatever. There we go. Let's we'll just we'll just use my username. Ooh, oh, massive! <laughs> I, Hagrid, check it out. I'm massive, mate. A tinker. Let's let's read all these descriptions though. Noob. No origin. Today is the first interesting day of your life. Eh? An agent. Undercover agent. Ooh. You're secretly employed by one of Nevada's several shadowy agencies. There are only a few of them that anyone knows about, but those are not the ones to which you belong. It's not all martinis and casinos, though. If people knew the work you've done, they would curl into little balls of horror and despair. Today, you're disguising your involvement in this new enmeshment program endeavor by going undercover as a transfer from another department. Focus skill is ranged, weak as- no, I like melee. Enemies in infiltration stages won't know you're an opponent until you're caught being violent while you, all others have to hunt you down. Uh, extra handgun ammo. Not auto rate of fire, plus 20%, but uh, encumbrance, minus 35%. Experiment. Look at them nails. He probably spends a fortune on them. You were born from a test tube, grown in a vat, spent most of your life surrounded by glass and cryofluid. You were the plaything of countless, unscrupulous experiments which left you with scars, mental instability, and a bubbling hatred for your tormentors. And then one day, they simply let you walk out of the laboratory where you were constructed. But why? Focus skill. Acrobatic. Weak skill ranged. Opponents startled by your takedowns and gruesome kills don't just react with surprise, they'll take off running. Plus two on arm damage. But, plus 25% fire damage. Cause I react to flames like Frankenstein's monster? Mercenary. You were once a bodyguard to an important Nevadian bureaucrat until your master was slain on your day off. Bodyguards need weekends off too, you see. Now you are a traveling warrior, a hired blade. You wander from city to city, offering your muscle to the highest bidder. Fellow fighters are drawn to you, and you allow them to bask in your mighty aura. Just make certain that your spotlight doesn't become theirs. Uh, focus skill is melee, but weak skill is unarmed? You think if you're good with melee, you'll at least be able to throw a quality punch, but guess not. Especially, you can spend your hard-earned cash to convert opponents to your side. What? Uh, you can only- you only take the highest paying contract, cash bonus 10%, but max hireling level, minus 5. Huh. Uh, patient. You were once an esteemed researcher in the employ of one of Nevada's leading scientific bureaus. You obeyed directives and towed the line without question for years. It seemed as though your meteoric rise through the Bureau would continue unabated forever, till a dangerous thought landed you strapped to a bed in a padded room where you remained for an incalculable amount of time. Recently, you were ejected from the sanitarium and issued a clean bill of health. Perhaps they should have examined you more closely. Focus skills unarmed, weak skills acrobatic. You keep telling people about your imaginary friend who helps you out of tough spots. Why won't anyone believe you? You're on so many medications that a little knock to the dome isn't going to phase you. Uh, oh. Holy shit. That's unnerving. I can't play this one yet. But, disquieted one. All denizens of Nevada share a bond. You see this more clearly than anyone, which is why you alone know that this is a terrible thing. That bond is slavery to a machine that only you have glimpsed. An algorithmic system that puppeteers the actions of oblivious masses. There is only one solution, one way out. You must sever that bond with your fellow Nevadians one life at a time. There's definitely something terribly wrong with you. Welcome to Nevada, you're gonna fit right in. Oh. Once you have the improvised weapon skill, it affects- It affects apply to all melee weapons, so long as you can hold them in one hand. Once you have the positioning skill, you'll teleport the distance between you and your target while wielding a melee weapon. Growing up, you were the reason the neighbor's outdoor pets became indoor pets. Guns simply lack personal touch. The personal touch of a fine blade. More slashing damage, less range damage. Uh, 
Tinker. Oh boy, do you love guns. You really, really love guns. I mean, there are folks out there who say they love guns, but they don't hold a candle to your unconditional infatuation with guns. When you're not busy lobbying to overturn the marriage institute banning the union between a Nevadian and a gun, you're playing with guns, taking apart guns, tweaking guns, putting guns back together again. You never leave your house without your guns, and when you come home, you cannot go to sleep until you've said goodnight to every gun in your possession. You love guns. Special, you can stick any modification with any firearm whatsoever with zero restriction. Enjoy. You get one extra mag, but uh, you never did quite get over being pushed around by bullies. Damage from H2H plus 20%. H3? Oh, no, wait. Hand to hand. Oh, this one requires two imprints. Massive. What a big fellow you are. With all the jocks... While all the jocks were busy pumping iron, you were finishing your plate, including the greens. They got big, sure, but you got bigger. And bigger. And bigger. Now, you're out in the world seeking next Herculean feat to best. After all, no physical challenge has hindered you yet. Focus skill unarmed, weak skill acrobatic. Every core skill you purchase, excluding your weakness, will make you bigger and slower, but much, much tougher. <laughs> all skills you buy require you to pick from strength or endurance instead of their normal attributes. Your brain is literally made of muscle. 50% dizzy resistance. Those sausage fingers were meant for fists, not pulling triggers. Non-auto rate of fire, minus 50%. Precision tools are not in your wheelhouse. Ranged accuracy, minus 50. <laughs> oh, lord. Oh, these sound cool. But... Uh... The idea to spend hard on cash to convert people to my side is great, but... I don't know who I'm going to be encountering. Um... Agent gets plus one to tactics. The experiment has the experiment may should have more health, but I think I'll just go with noob because uh right, I don't know what's going to happen. I have no origin. No one cares about me. 3D Deimos there on the loading screen. Still unnerving to see them like fully. I shouldn't say 3D. I should say uh it's fully, like, normal human. Wake up. In this world, no one chooses who they are. Wait, where am I? H how did I get here? It looks like the imprint was successful. Welcome back. Oh. I don't remember. What procedure? Dude with a wicked hairdo in the front of the bus. It'll come back to you soon. For now, let's get you up to speed on our objective. We're going to check out North Central, the northmost district of Nevada's largest megalopolis. There, you'll find a vacant building procured by our organization. Every cent of our funding has gone towards acquisition of that property, so in the event that we find the Mandatus there. Mandatus there? You will need to flip the dialect building into a lucrative enterprise. Do that, we'll finally be able to run the enmeshment program and decipher the Mandatus. Mandatus. Enmeshment program? Mandatus. Huh? We'll get to that in time. Focus on building your empire first. We'll attend to the important work after you've gotten settled in. Oh, am I gonna be like a kid? Well, I'm not mercenary, so. Looks like your stop is coming up. Listen, if you need help, call me from the phone in the hub room above the lobby. We'll speak again soon. Best of luck. Why do I have a stand-up prompt? Is that just to skip everything? Or get thrown out of the bus? Because, you know, this is Nevada. Not wearing a seatbelt is grounds to being thrown out of a vehicle. Well, I haven't smoked yet, so... Seriously, don't smoke, though. Or vape. Somewhere in Nevada. Yeah, this is somewhere in Nevada. There's a shady looking guy over there. I bet I can buy stuff. Ooh, hello. I like your hat. Hey. Hey, can I have that? Can I? Alright, fine. Wait, why are these two guys sitting here? The bus just came by. What? 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 What is going on? Oh, 
Double tap to run. Oh, there's tutorials here, too. So this is the place, huh? The Annex. Yuck. Come on, then. Hey, squad is right. This place is mine. Uh. Oh. I can't kick, either. Piss off, I was here first. I'm gonna slack the crap out of you. Oof, lay off, all right. You're very cranky, kid, you know that? I don't know what's going on, but I'm gonna beat your ass like a drum. The name's Gelinator, and it's time to move out, old timer. This is my place now. Yeah! I'm gonna run a drug empire. So they finally got someone to take over the old annex building, eh? Well, good luck. This place is infested with all manners of unscrupulous sorts. Hooligans, roughnecks, rascals, you name it. And me! I'm all of those. Great, well I'm gonna go find the circuit breaker and get the power on on this dump. You better be gone when I get back. No sweat, Chief. You know, I used to run a power station outside of Nexus City. So I know a thing or two. You're gonna want to try the helipad on the roof. I'll bet that's where they stuck that pesky breaker panel. Really? Why? And hey, this should help, see? I've got your back, Chief. Oh. Man, it's been a few days since I've played. I've gone through a few changes. Also had a birthday. It's on the 17th! I, I don't know what good the flashlight is here. I can see everything just fine. But hey, you know what? It's cool. Quick, grab their stuff! What? I mean, at least the flashlight doesn't have durability. But it looks like I'm bashing them with my hand. Let's check in. Alright, Doc, we're in business. I'm ready to get started. I didn't turn the power on, though. Good, the plan is just like we discussed. Get this place in working order and establish a funking e functioning enterprise out of it. Funking. Friday night funking enterprise out of it. If you're ever uncertain about what to do next, give me a call. I'll be monitoring your progress remotely. Good luck. He has, like, a monitor on my vitals. Under construction? It, this wood is probably, like, dry rotted by now, honestly. But going off of what I said... Oh, hi. Can I throw... Nope. He's already running away. Alright, whatever, dude. Oh, he's back. Oh, there goes his ribcage. Uh, I got a new microphone. And... And get this, get this. I figured out how to get rid of button presses and clicking using Audacity. It's great. There was this noise gate feature. And the default settings just work fine. I was sitting there, like, playing with it, changing sensitivity, etc. This is my breaker. Can't do anything with that switch now. Then, I just went back to the default settings. It worked. Like, crazy. I didn't expect something out of the box to work. Okay, that's a lie. I always expect stuff to work right out of the box. Surprise. I mean, his brain didn't work out of the box. I mean, it's still in his skull, so... Who knows if it works when it's outside of his skull? We'll find out later. If his body's still there and I can use it for various experiments, because I own this building now. Give me the guns. They're locked up tight. Tighter than your mom. Oh, hi. Come and get it, hot stuff. What? Back talker. Right, why is the breaker on the roof? He's glowing now. Go find boss the ba that boss man freeloader. Is it rich? Oh, well. Right, back to what I was saying. I got a new keyboard, which I guess I'll have to get used to. And it's, it's a bit quieter, but new microphone. That's why I, I can... I can do ASMR. I'm not going to do that ever again, though, unless it's to make a point. Dormitory? 
There's a single camping tent here. Nice. Everyone lives in tents. Right, boss man's in the bottom floor. I was thinking of Doc. I guess I don't need the flashlight. Looks like you got the power on, Chief. Nice work. Those low lights upstairs give you any guff? Well, they gave me some corpses to clean up. What the hell are you stu still doing here? I asked you nicely to vacate. I can't make something out of this wretched dump with you here. Say, isn't all that bad, sport? Sure, it's a bit of a fixer-upper, but once you've gotten the muddy, grimy smears off of just about every surface in this place, you'll take a real shining to it. Just you wait and see. That has nothing to do with the question I asked. Well, unless you're handy with a broom, I need you gone. Today. Now. You offer me a job, Chief? Because it just so happens I'm freshly back on the market, and I'm not too overqualified to do a little cleanup around this joint. Oh, really? In fact, bear with me a minute. Let me show you something. Well, my flashlight just vanished out of my hands. That's cool. Thanks for not killing me. I owe you one. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but you didn't ride into Nevada Central unless you were looking for some serious dosh, am I right? Loads of money. Not exactly. This place is going to be the headquarters for a massive paramilitary enterprise, and I'm pretty much building it from scratch. Then you're going to need cash in hand to do it, as well as a few capable appointees to help you run this place. Just so happens I used to be upper management. Plus I know a few guys. We get this place rolling in no time. Aw oh, man, this is a lot more than I expected from arena mode. <laughs> this is like a whole separate side story. Alright, where do we start? Oh, you're going to get a kick out of this chief. Follow me. I'll show you. Oof, what is, what's that smell? Oh, you know. Jerry? Let me guess. Now I can in act interact with this switch. Here it is. I knew this old scrap can would come in handy. Help me out. What am I looking at here? This? This, my friend, is a state-of-the-art Nexus Core Sleepwalker Dream of Simulation trademark. Bed. Trains a know-nothing civilian into a killing machine in record time. Oh good, I'm a noob. I mean, I could probably still fight if I get some unarmed skills, but... And this rusty old box is supposed to bring in the money and manpower and I need to build this place? Yeah, okay, sure. You gotta be the person to lead, Jelenator. This is... This bed is what gets you there. Wow, am I, like, failing to read or what? If you want to command an army, first you'll need to... Let's just feed this puppy some juice and you'll see what I mean. Go on, Chief, give her a whirl. I mean, you're the one who fed it. Whatever. Let's just jump into this thing. Nothing bad happens. Oh, look. Oh. I get more stuff for playing on the, on the higher difficulties. These old tapes labeled Sleepwalker training program look musty and used, but Bossman claims they'll train you up to fit. Fighting fit in no time. Let's see if he's right. Look at me. Oh, this is so cool. I only ever saw, like, the intro sequence with, with, uh, Crinkle streaming. And that was Lucy. Alright, send out the subject. Uh, it's the classic thing. Welcome to Project Nexus, test subject. The, the original name. Today you'll be helping us to move combat experience forward by engaging in a controlled battle experiment. Yeah, you're gonna throw waves of enemies against me. What did you just call me? In a moment, we'll be sending in opponents of escalating difficulty for you to face. Our technicians will keep you alive, so don't be afraid to go all out. You understand? You guys realize this isn't real, right? Why, then... It's a recording, though. Excellent. We'll start, off, start you off with something manageable button lets us know when you're ready to proceed. Best of luck. Do I smoke after I hit it? Aw, oh, kick the habit! Please do not run. Okay. Wait, why do you guys get to run? 
Arena victory. Oh, this is cool. I remember playing classic though. And I wanted the hirelings to level up, so I just sit here and let them kill stuff on the first five waves and then reset and do that ad nauseum. And then I found out how to edit the settings with a flash editor and lo and behold, I only had to do that for one wave before they were like twice my level. That, that was a chaotic day. But look, I got five kills. I got no money because this is my dream, but I earned some experience. That's enough for now. See you tomorrow. You're gonna need more than just a broom to clean some of this up, my guy. I'd recommend picking up the bottles first. Pretty groovy, don't you think? I swiped it when the Nexus Core canned me. Heh. Ooh, a storage thing. Fascinating, but when does the money figure in? I want to go back in and learn how to use unarmed. I'm working on something. I know a first-rate bloke that can get used running missions for cash, but he's indisposed at the moment. I like that word. Soaking on training up for now. You're going to need some major skills if we're going to recover my guy. Set up a training dummy to hone your abilities with all that combat experience you'll be gaining. Yeah. Oh, wow, this is a lot. Uh... Origin. Acrobatics, ranged, melee, unarmed. Train. Owned. Core, unarmed technique. Uh... Improves the quality of unarmed attacks. Wow. Melee technique. Prove quality of melee attacks. Prove the quality of your dodge. <laughs> yeah! I, I'm just like flopping onto the floor. Gun handling. With an, one extra magazine for non heavy firearms. This ammo stacks with magazines of any other firearm you start with that use the same type of ammo. Also, now you now hold your gun upright like a professional. Wow, this is cool. Look at all of this, though. Good lord. At least have stars next to them. Precise throw. But a perfect spin will throw melee weapons less likely to bounce away and better damage. Cool. You get your your second level of tack bar incoming. Oh, your second level of tack bar incoming gunfire is now considered a full miss. L lawnmower. Slashing melee weapons will be thrown sideways and chuff through as many opponents as possible before hitting the ground. Only available characters with this skill focus. Uh, I don't know what a skill focus means. But, weird, where's the, um, stuff for hirelings? I guess there's, there's nothing, like the... What was it? Leadership? Was the leadership the one? In, um... In, in classic? Oh, cool. There's new game plus bonuses. I have no protection. I have one single corpus. I want to stand a chance against Excalibur. There's sub-attributes. This is like a whole damn RPG. Wow, and they made a story mode? This is- this is just a second story mode. Like... Wow. Holy crap, I'm- I- I can't say this enough. This is great. Anyway. Strength or endurance? Strength. Well, I have no points in anything, but hey. I, I now have two health. 
Oh, I found a chest full of crap for you. Maybe you can find some use for it. You'll be able to access your war chest between waves, too. I'm going into a... We'll talk more after you've cleared the uh, Sleepwalker tutorial, okay, Chief? I'm going into a dream. How is any of this gonna... Pile of rocks, a fire and firearm, and a wooden board. I'm not even strong enough to hold the board. Hold a piece of freaking wood. But I'm going into... My, like, stasis sleep. What a... What good is holding... What's it called? Like, guns and stuff. This is my mind. I guess I'll just think I'm holding the, uh, a gun. Is this gonna be where they have melee weapons? Please note that you may leave any time, but if you quit away before it's finished, we will be forced to restart your progress from the very beginning, just the same as if you had died. I do kind of die. I kill the program, and myself, and everyone in it. Everyone's reborn. However, leaving between waves will only reset you back to your last checkpoint. Make sense? Let's begin. What's a checkpoint? I hate tedious crap where it's like, oh, you died, you get to do that entire, like, 45-minute segment again. Wave 2, unleash the beast. Oh, look, I have actual punches. Hold on, I gotta get back up. Banning user. What? Are they banning me or, or is are they getting banned? He has a bat. Ow. It's just going to town on me, huh? I'll be taking this. Christ. Okay, I clearly need to level up unarmed if I'm gonna start parrying people. My acrobatics went up. You may safely leave from the pause menu. Now we're going to continue with enter. Wave three. Yeah, I got a bat. You, you messed up. This is pretty much how... What is that? Oh god. Is that a gun? Oh, he has armor too. Don't smile at me. Ow. You just shot me. Whoops. Give me that. Uploading foot to ass. Nope. Why do I hold the gun like this? New wave bonus, 40. Okay, cool! My, um... Based on what I do, and I dodge some attacks, I didn't do anything with unarmed, but I have a gun now. Wave 4. The final wave. Oh, it's out of ammo. Oh! Get comboed, I guess. Uh-oh. Uh... Oh, they're all boxing up like in freaking classic. I mean, at least I can beat the first wave. What? What is he using? Why is he orange? Does he just have more health? He, j he just picked that up immediately. Give me the pipe. Yeah, why are these guys orange? They just have more health? They have higher stats, that's for sure. They're actually picking up weapons. Come here, let me hit you with a pipe. Why are you standing there? Why are you standing there? Um, there's a big boy here now. The wrench is so slow. Why is Big Boy just standing there? Ah.
I can't do my uh, power attack that I do in classic, huh? Okay. Arena victory. Right, that happened. I didn't expect to impale him with a wrench. I thought I'd have to hit him more. Apparently thrown wrenches are dangerous. Leveled up my firearms a little bit because I fired one twice. That's enough for now. See you tomorrow. That's cool, though. There's this freaking ATP engineer mask, but it's red. That's all I want. The HQ. What the heck happened in there? I have pu You punched a bunch of people, dude. Can we get anything? Oh, yeah. Freaking better dodging. I'm one away from getting, uh... <laughs> no, I'm two away from getting better. What's it called? Da guns. You hold your gun upright like a professional. What is tactics again? Attack bar regen, attack bar damage. Uh, dexterity is movement speed, attack bar size. Your raw potential to dodge bullets. <laughs> Uh, weapon speed for small melee weapons. Endurance is resist, dizzy and shove, encumbrance cap. Strength, weapon size, shove power, intimidation. Oh, someone said that, uh, with strength, you can dual wield heavier weapons, which is why Sanford can dual wield more stuff than Deimos can. It's just, hey, <laughs> Sanford also can... What was it? Change a... Change a tire without a jack. Fast get him. I guess that's the next one I want, but, um, I can't really do anything else, unless... Am I done that? Is there a way to... check? Oh, well, I'll just go in unarmed. Oh, wow! He got this place cleaned up. How long was I in there? You know what? Yeah, it's a wet floor... So Damn it. Okay, fine. I just... Look, I'm just gonna... But freaking... You know what? It's my own fault. Ah, oh, look at this. Look at this plate! Wow, he's good! This man, like... I don't know who he is. Or where he's from. He, m he might be rich, I don't know. He might have worked with rich. But wow. This place... Oh, more storage. This place cleans up nice. Wow. Wait, I can push these traffic cones, can I? Uh. Hold on. Did I just... Oh, I can't walk off the edge. Darn it. This place is not Cyber City. But, you know... Wait, where is he? Why does it keep telling me to go through here? Or is it telling me I can go that way? Where's, uh, what's his face at? I feel like I'm going the wrong way. I'm already lost in my own place. <laughs> Wow, look at this. Oh, look, it's a gun range. Look at that. I am, I'm really lost. Holy crap. There, this is what I wanted. 
I'll say you're looking pretty trim there. Check out those muscles. Look, look at that rippling physique. I punched a bunch of ghost people. That's enough. I'm ready to find this friend of yours. I want a hat. Oh, this guy's no friend. A real piece of work, this one. But make no mistake, he's an earner, which means you're going to have to go snatch him up. I mean, I learned how to punch now. And I can dodge. The northern central bus will take you to where a gang of toughs are holding him hostage. Just head outside and check the bus schedule to find your new contract mission. I th think it's at the same bus stop you first arrived here from. How would you know that? You're my informant, aren't you? You know more than you let on. If you don't feel strong enough to rescue the pilot, you can keep using that sleepwalker bed. Thought I completed it all. So... Oh, he's just gonna repeat that. That guy deserves a medal. Yeah, I mean, he cleaned all that up real quick. Like, he applied a lot of polish. So, I'm guessing the way this works, I go into these missions... Oh, no, I, I can get experience from these two. That's cool. I thought the, the training thing... I guess the, the, the training thing is the tutorial. Cool. Oh, look at this. This is this. I think this is the part where I saw um, Crinkles playing. Hey, looky who we got here. How do I upgrade my blocking? I guess that was, was that melee. Okay, fine. Maybe my stats aren't high enough. I'm playing with tough, actually. Ow. Alright, fine. I guess my stats aren't high enough to play on tough. I don't know what break means. Well, I made it through and I'm nearly dead. This place so much like an uh, uh, arena thing. Or like an old arcade game. This is so cool. I can't. Hold on, let me get up. Ow. I gotta get out of the middle of these guys. I'm dead. Arena fair. I don't get any if I die. I guess I gotta go do the sleepwalker thing again. Oh god. I'm Skinner <laughs> MD, but you can call me Dr. Ghoul. <laughs> Just kidding. Call me Skinner. I'm here to patch you up back together if you're having a bad day. Yeah. <laughs> You're a big fella to be sneaking around. How'd you get in here, anyway? What's that? An us man let me in. He's a real- he's a really sweet guy. He comes up to me and tells me, Skinner, old buddy, I know this kid who's gonna be needing your skills soon. Keep him kicking, got it? And now here I am. Thanks, Mr. Golem, buddy. <laughs> Anywho, if you're feeling under the weather, I'll do my best to see you right again, free of charge. Come talk to me if you lose any henchmen in the field. I love putting people back together so, so much. So I can't revive them? So I can't revive, um... Teammates? You can't sue me for malpractice, and hopefully you'll never have to. Oh, there's a thing for repairing corpus here. But if that's the case, I want better blocking first. Uh, eh. Which is the gymnasium, I think. Right? That's where the... Where this is. Wave 5. Oh. Did I... Did I not do this? Or is it... 
Wave 5 plus. Welcome back. Let's continue the experiment. Oh, it just continues from Wave 5. So I just keep going? Oh, they're actual people now. Oh, he has a gun. Yep, that's like classic, all right. You fight waves of enemies, and then, lo and behold, after you beat enough guys unarmed, they come out with bottles and, like, immediately kill you. Or if you're lucky enough to knock one over, you can steal their melee weapon and kill a few of them. And then, you immediately have to fight a bunch of guys in wave two with melee weapons. I think after, like, a single wave of people without them? And then they come out with guns and kill you. You guys... You guys can shoot me at any time. There it is. I need to get... No, hold on. Let me get up, please. I need any amount of firearms practice, because I can't even hold my gun like a professional. Ow. Just please. Thank you. Ah. Uh, no! Arena fair. Oh no, I died. at the sleeper. So I have to win to get experience. Oh, okay. I can skip it for money. That's cool. Well, this one doesn't cost money because it's the starter one. I don't know why. I thought it would just be these guys, because it's a sleep program. <laughs> yeah, a sleep program. But I guess not. So, those were actual people, and the only reason they were hard was because they had guns. Gee, it's like someone who can't dodge bullets is weak to guns, who would have thought? Did I just hit two of them with one swing? Yeah, you can hit multiple people with a swing of a melee weapon. Give me that. Give me that gun. Oh. User is camping. It's an effective strategy. Listen, you're only upset because it's working. It hides all the guns. Hitting tab. Just oh! Oh, I can put it away, I guess, because it's small. Yeah, that, that, that's firearm experience, right? I like the wind-up punch. Ow. Uploading the hurt. Yeah? Yep, they definitely have higher stats. They're smart enough to pick up weapons. Which actually makes me think, how do hireling levels work? Do you- do they automatically just pick stuff? Or do they let you choose what, uh, what skills they get? Oh, I can't 
Uh, like, yeah, I need to level up something in order to get the running pickup. Whoa. Whoa, Nelly. VR Training Buddy version 4. Eh. Arena it's victory. so chunky just impaling them with a melee weapon. Cool. I got enough gun experience to learn how to use one now. Yay. Ah, decisions, decisions. I guess we'll be getting, uh... Critical hit, then. I'll, I'll take the gun with me, I guess. Okay, now we can- now we can try. Good lord. Radio! Ready? Ah, uh, my kneecaps. So who's this Skinner character? Yeah, the guy who fixed me. Oh, Skinner? Very talented medic. All around stand-up bloke. I see Skinner one day and I says to him, I says, Skinner, old buddy, I know this kid is gonna be... Yeah, I got it, thanks. I don't encourage you to suffer a mortal energy injury, chief, but if you do... If you don't, you're liable to miss out on the most pleasant medical treatment you're ever going to receive. Ah. Oops. Skinner told me never to use the word liable. Oh, I have a gun. Can I attack people in the street? I mean, I bopped them in the head. <laughs> Pilot episode, uh... I don't get that much more experience for doing it on tough. Um, I'm just gonna do normal. Because I wanna beat this and then. You know. <laughs> be done. Get this guy. Get the nope. So, I guess, do critical hits do more damage? Hey, look, I'm blocking better now, too. Oh. Now, now we're getting somewhere. Yes, I'm just rocking out to the music right now. I remember Crinkles was streaming this and would say that there was a glitch here where the bi the other biker guys just never showed up. Look at that man just like spamming his uh bat. Just finish these guys off with uh. A gun, shall we? I'll take... I'm taking the pipe. I'm on the bat, because I like the bat better. Who's that man up there? Oh, I want to go talk to Sombrero Man up top. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean to hit you in the back of the head with a pipe and inconvenience you. Oh. Oh my god, that dude's back just got taken out! Guys, stay out of the road! Jesus! Oh, that man's head exploded! These people do not care! 
You'd think they'd at least care about their cars getting messed up. Can I steal the motorcycle? I can't steal the motorcycle. Is that a helicopter? Oh, I know why. This clown is making a break for the warehouse. Get him. Wait, what, what is he doing over there? Dude, get out of here. <laughs> Just throwing stuff at his bike. Actually, that's not his bike. Oh, he's almost dead. I can do a finisher. Wham! I'll teach you to stand around talking while I murder people. Hey, this guy's not on the Boys, boy, we gonna be in trouble if we find it. If we're waiting for anyone to get the drop on us. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on, let me reload. Ow. Oh, he was like one hit from death. Whoops. Ow, oh, chain. And Bodhi. Chains and Bodhi. The the bots I always had in Payday 2. Because I just didn't bother to change them. Ooh. Oh, I could have gotten a takedown on him. Button! Oh man, I love buttons. Ow, 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 ow. Christ. Good God. You're on the wrong side of the tracks, bub. We're in a building. And I didn't see any train tracks outside. Yeah, boy. Is this unlocked? Cool. I mean, I don't I don't need healing, but Did you think you could unload our gear and we weren't going to find out, you numbskull? Jeez, lighten up, Tony. Even I get boarded sometimes. Oh, you got no idea how right you are. Someone hand me my board. I'm going to play with this chump. Oh, come on. Be reasonable, guff. I can earn back what I lost. Give me a chance. What I'm gonna give you is a black eye to match the other black eye you're also getting in a second. How long have you known me, Tony? Have I ever been a poor earner? What? I can't hear you. Maybe I just got prom made in my ears, but I feel like you just said beat me to a bloody pulp. Blast the thieves dropper. Oh, he has a gun! The Fen Defense are gonna hear about this. Can he shoot me from here? He's reloading. Get him. He backed up. Damn. Get, 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 get over here. Stop running from me. I think he has a gun, too. Yeah, he has a gun, too. Uh. Karate shop. I'll be taking this gun. I don't know who you are, but I owe you big time. Good! You want to settle that debt? Come work for me. Boss man tells me you're worth the effort. 
that old bum? Well, he's right. I can get you anywhere you need in or out of Nevada Central. Got my own whirly bird and everything. Oh. I... Then give me... Give me a ride back to base and show me what you've got. Can we just put a bullet to do bleeding out? Alright. Look, I got money! And more money for doing it the first time! And a bunch of experience! Oh boy! Things are actually happening now that I'm not being an asshole! <laughs> Thanks again. You can come see me anytime you want to make a buck. I'm your man. Quite entertaining. Uh, quit entertaining that ruffian before he talks the wallet right off of you. I have literally no money. How are you, you old so-and-so? Looks like you found yourself a cushy gig. Oi, don't go and work too hard for once. While you were retrieving Dave here, I did a little recruiting. Come with me, I want to make the introduction. Please tell me it's the quartermaster. I knew why well, I want to buy a new hat. Also, what's up with... What is up with my head? Oh, it's the lighting. It looks like I have bandages on the top of my head. Or like it's shaved. Yo, yeah, let's go. Say, is this the one with the bags upon bags of cash? I have literally nothing to my name. Soon. Meet Bert. He'll be filling in as quartermaster around here. Didn't I know it was you? What are you buying? Firearms, blades, armor, I've got it all. I'll try and keep up with demand. The more missions you complete, the better access to new equipment I'll have. When you win, everybody wins. Yeah? I'll get to work finding us some muscle. Come see me in the lobby later. Ciao. Cool. You sell, like, broken bottles and pipes, right? I also managed to get that armor colorizer working again. I'm gonna charge you for materials, but the labor is on you. Think of the savings. Browse the store. Look. <laughs> Ammo. Bullet come out. <laughs> Shooty end. More bullet put in reloady end. Um. Oh yeah, they reworked the way these guns look, I think. Armor. Yeah! Yeah! This is what I want! Hair. A top hat. Masks and goggles. Okay, it's only the ones at the top, I think. Tengu mask. Wait, what? These goggles weigh more than this. Nerd glasses. Agency shades. Agen agency half mag shades. A far angrier looking set of sunglasses if you're interested in emitting the very specific aura of bitter, violent frustration stapled down underneath psych crushing mental conditioning these are for you mm yes spent all my money on uh <laughs> freaking hats got nothing for the back got eyebrows injury augments outfits oh wow Gungeon jumpsuit. Wearing this does the opposite of inspiring confidence. Gungeon jumpsuit, my bad. <laughs> Enter the Gungeon. I'm not good at Enter the Gungeon. The Nor. This one has stats, though. Nice. Camo uniform.
My level of protection this piece affords this piece of equipment affords your vulnerable parts. Oh look! Kills apron. A shabby apron. The grease doesn't stop bullets, but it it will stop people from hugging you. Yeah. Stylish top hat, and that's it. Oh, I can sell stuff. I lost my gun. No, it's because I'm holding it. Colorizer. I owe nothing. Welcome. Can I buy a gun? Melee three. How punishing your firearm is when swung like a club. Ah, okay. Look at all these weapons. Complete more stages to unlock them. Look at all these things I can unlock! Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, I'm so glad I noticed, noticed this. Maniac backpack. Scarf cape. That's what Sanford ended up wearing at the end of the campaign. Ammo belt. Ammo belt. Wow, cool. Spiked gloves. Boxing gloves. Defibrillator pads. Casual shoes. Leather boots. Light pauldrons. Heavy pauldrons. Uh. Mask. <laughs> <laughs> oh look. <laughs> uh that's great. <laughs> uh I wasn't expecting that. Soldat. So I guess the mask would be No? Engineer Matt, yeah. Can be colorized and has alternate styles. Holla. I want, what else can I get, though? There's a lot of stuff here. Oh, Lord, look at all of this. I wonder if some of this stuff, like, overwrites other ones. Like, if I get the mask wearing one of these... Yeah. Wearing one of these will, uh... <laughs> day is full, will unequip it? Like... Did, did that happen in... No, I don't think that happened in Classic. Wait. Wait, hold on, I saw walrus tusks. I, I am Jamie. Get that. Wait, where was it? Sold at suit. All around upgrade to standard agency gear. Agency suit. Lightly armored suit worn by agents of all factions. Right, vest. Military. Kevlar. Like, some of these are just like, why would you wear that? Engineering suit. Distinctive outfit worn by engineer agents. Good for carrying capacity, but not good for keeping your guts inside. I don't know, it had three armor. Snazzy vest. I can equip nothing. Camo pants and bandolier. Ah, oh, this looks familiar. I guess just the camo pants. Actually. Oh, here. What are augments, though? I don't see them in this list, actually. 
Do they not show up? Is that something I can only get because of a specific origin? Oh, you can buy shields. Cool. Look at all these weapons, too. I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, I've been playing for what? Like, well over? Mm. Two hours? Let me check. Uh, no. Just about under two hours. So, make this divide up all nicely, like. We're gonna go down here. See what our boss man has to say. It's time we looked into bringing some fresh talent in this place. Strong lads to help you carry the workload. Can I send them on missions, too? Agreed. Where do we start? And by that, I mean I send them out and I don't have to go with them. Have you ever heard of Project Nexus? No, I don't think... Wait, a technician mentioned it in the Sleepwalker program. What is it? Only the finest purveyor of pre-trained battle clones, and it just so happens I have inroads with the Nexus Corps who run the show. Once you've made some money running missions for Chopper Dave, you will need to start upgrading the dorms to support new recruits. Do that, and then come see me to get the ball rolling. Oh, is that it? So I guess I go back, talk to Dave, and then... do th things. This is so cool, though. They didn't have to do all of this for the arena mode. Just endless hordes, but instead you get this. You get, like, an actual full story. Check out my flying rig. I can show you the world. Where are we going, then, sir? Oh, wow. Pit stop, siege. To reach the farthest corners of Nevada and making some real profit, we're gonna need some good old diesel to fire up the helicopter. Unfortunately, bandit tribes and other wasteland denizens will hear us coming for miles. You battle them off while the pilot siphon scaff will split off before things spin out of control. You'll be able to open your inventory and access weapons between waves. I don't. Do I not have that unlocked? Wait, did. Oh no, I'm sitting on the side. Who's the second person? There's two people in there. Oh, Hank, you don't have your bottom teeth. Hold enter to start the next wave. Do I get anything? I brought a gun, I guess. Oh, cool, look at that. Hold the button now. That man is hiding from me. Don't hide from me. The music is about to kick up. I don't know, I've never heard the song before. Yeah, you can hear the, the bass building. It's getting ready to drop. And then the real madness, I mean, I'm just punching people. Hey, what is that? Oh my god, he dropped money! There's the base drop. Yeah. Look at them all. I'm just all over here. I... Damn it. I... I went into this mission. That guy has a gun. That man also has a gun. Stop punching the gas thing, you prick. Ow. Why are you shooting a thing of diesel? What? Oh, 
Oh boy. Is he just standing there and taking it? Man, there's a lot of people beating on these things. Luckily, they're not too focused on stopping me from... <laughs> Did you just throw a rock? Oh, I want to equip my gun. I hope I, ha I only have to protect one of these. More money! Thanks for being thoughtful and bringing some for me. Just... Why? What? What is the... West Trench is sending in a support squad. Oh god, there's so much going on here. I got a speed boost! Arena victory. I go fast! Look at me go! Oh! I failed to protect a target, oops. What is this? I'm carrying something. Oh, did I do- I did the entire thing, okay. Oh wow, there's a lot more people here. What? I'm supposed to charge for gas, but for you, this one's free. We'll keep her spinning until you're set. Alright, cool. I'm gonna go check the... Quartermaster. Stranger. I can buy more stuff now! Because I have money! I still don't have enough to buy, uh, a 911. Oh, I should check, um... I think there's a... What's this, E? Hold E to upgrade plus one hireling death insurance. Huh. Can't buy anything. Let's check my skills and then sign off. This is great. Oh! Range attacks that, de that deal more damage than an opponent's full corpus will destroy the corpus outright. They don't need to be plugged with a finishing shot. Shots that wouldn't kill in one hit must still drain the enemy's corpus first before weakening. Before breaking. Headshot! Why is there a star on this? A standing target vulnerable. Hold shift, but I can then aim with the head. Bracing your aim with your low with your offhand lowers the recoil of shots fired and boosts your general actually supposed you look like a boss while doing it. Bracing an automatic weapon, light trigger pulls will fire off a single round rather than the full burst. Fortunately, moving will cause your aim to drop. Sweet spot, tactical novice. Uh precise throw. Uh we want the dodge though. Yeah. Ooh, better guard. Replace your little noodle arms with big slabs of beef that never get tired and block... And a, a block that does not break after the first hit. Uh... Yeah, we're gonna get better guard. And another point to endurance. Uh-huh. So, I think... The sweet spot, which is that green zone.
do I get headshot? Or great shot? Oh, no. Great shot costs more, but headshot is what I normally go with. Yeah, we're getting that. We're gonna go point to tactics. I'm fast. Fuck, boy. I got six encumbrance now, an attack bar. Look at that. Oh man, I'm becoming like a real guru of not dying. Nah, just kidding. I had to tone it down to normal to complete those missions. <laughs> cause, cause I got nothing. Oh look. I don't block like I'm scared anymore. Like, ah, oh, don't hurt me, it's like an actual... Okay, I think that's because... Yeah, you... if you interrupt a, a melee attack... You'll uh, do that instead. But... I guess that's where I'm going to call it for this session of Madness Project Nexus Arena Mode. There, there's a lot more to this, and I'm scared I may become addicted to this to the point where I'm just gonna play this while, uh, <laughs> while I'm not recording simply to get more stats. So, regardless... I hope you all have a good rest of your day, and I will see you next time. Thanks a lot for watching, by the way.